I'm Jerry Purvis with Star Herald and welcome to another edition of Table Talk. Our guest today is Renee Garten with the Gearing Merchants Association. Thank you for joining us today, Renee. Well, thank you for having me. Okay, first off, tell us a little more about the Gearing Merchants Association and how you got involved with the group. Well, the Gearing Merchants Association, we are a group of like-minded individuals who come together to promote the great community in our valley and our great city of Gearing to promote our businesses and the community as a whole. Um, I became involved um, quite a few years ago. Um, I'm not originally from here, but moving to another small town, I just, it it's home. It's, they just welcome you with open arms and it is my home and I take pride in the community that I'm in. Okay, when was the uh, association established? Um, we were established in January of 1999, so mm -hmm. it's been 20 years. Uh -huh. And your mission is? Um, the official mission of the Gearing Martins Association is to support, promote, and increase the pride vision, and growth of gearing businesses. Okay, so how many members uh, make up the group now? Um, we have about 12 core members, um, and then with different projects that we have going on, um, we just have people come and help us and lend us hands, but it's usually that core group that make everything happen. And so how many, or tell us about some of the projects that you support during the year. Um, the projects that we run every year, we do the Sugar Valley Rally Luncheon. We provide lunch for the drivers and navigators for the Sugar Valley Rally, and that is held on the Sunday of the Sugar Valley Rally. Um, that is also open to the public um, to come and um, have lunch with their drivers and watch the cars come in and watch the award ceremony. Um, we have started a downtown uh, trick-or-treating, um, which has taken off. We have about 95% of our businesses in Gearing participate in that. It's just so fun watching the little kids all dressed up and all excited um, coming in and out of the businesses, and um, everybody seems to enjoy that. Um, and then, of course, our parade in Santa Village. So yes, tell us more about the upcoming Christmas Parade and Santa's Village. Um, this will be our 14th year of our holiday parade. Um, it will be on um, November 29th. It's always held the Friday after Thanksgiving. Um, and that will then um, also be the grand opening of our Santa Village. So um, this year's theme for our parade is a taste of Christmas. Mm -hmm. And we are looking at doing a canned food drive during that time also. Um, so we'll um, just be promoting that and then having our Santa Village, which everybody loves. Uh, I know that after the parade is the o official open of Santa's Village. What are some of the things going on in Santa's Village that time? Um, well, of course, we have hot chocolate and cookies for everyone. Um, Santa um, talks to all of the kids and s to see what they want for Christmas and all their holiday wishes. Um, and then he gives a bag of candy to every kid. Um, and then our village is very interactive. Um, in every building, there's something going on. Um, in one building, they can color. Um, we have different um, coloring pages and colors. We have a jailhouse um, with the Grinch and the abominable snowman locked up. The kids can see. <laughs> yeah. um, in our new, brand new bank building, there's a teller's station um, with money that they play with and interact with, and then a um, little donation slot. Um, People can put their money in and the pig will talk to you. Um, it's just fun. It's just so fun to watch the kids light up as they're going through the different buildings and seeing what's going on. We have a church, we have a schoolhouse, and it's just so much fun watching the kids interacting with everything. So, and after that, Santa's Village will be open on what days? Um, the Santa Village will be open every Saturday through Christmas. 
um, from 10 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon. Um, and then we, like, we are open that Friday evening. And then on December 20th, that Friday evening, we will also be open. Um, we've done that the last couple of years, and people really love that because when the Santa Village is all lit up, it's just so pretty, just so beautiful, and it's just so neat to show that off to people and have them come through at night. So, um, location of Santa's Village this year will be? It will be where it's always been, in the Civic Center parking lot in that uh, northeast corner. Um, we are not looking at moving it. We love the location. We like where it's at because of the visibility. Um, sometimes, you know, people are running errands. They're on their way to fresh foods to go buy their groceries for the week. Oh, I forgot the Santa Village is open today. So they stop. They, they bring the kids or they go home and get the kids and bring them back. And it's just, it's just perfect where it's at. What are some of the comments you hear from people who have attended the parade in Santa's Village? What do they like about it? Um, it's all about the kids. It's all about family and the kids. Um, it's just so neat watching the kids light up. When they come to the village, they, they see Santa there. Um, just the stories that different volunteers have told us about their experiences. Um, last year, um, right when we opened, the village, we had a car pull up and one of the kids got out and he yelled, Santa! Just took a beeline running for the, for Santa in the house and it was just so cute. It was just so wonderful. Um, the community is very excited and very um, happy when we do what we do. Um, you know, the parade just keeps growing every year with participation. Um, it's just so neat watching even the people watching the parade. Um, because we go through the parade, um, just seeing more and more people turn out with their family. Um, and people like um, the time frame that we do that because you have people coming home for the holiday. You have people coming home for Thanksgiving. So it's just another way for the family to stay together and interact as a family. Okay, so overall, what are some of the challenges that are that's being faced by the gearing business community, and and what is the Merchants Association doing to get involved in in keeping the economy and, and the downtown area healthy? We support and promote each other. Um, we have um, different communications that we do. We have an email um, chain that we send out um, different things going on. Um, we keep our Facebook page up, so um, we let people in the community know what's going on. Um, you know, let's say the union um, posts their lunch special for today. I try to catch that and then repost that. Um, the Daily Grind has something going on. We, we repost that. It's just a way of promoting each other. Um, we are so lucky to have the tourism in our community that we do. Um, having the Scottsbluff Monument and Chimney Rock and the Wildcats. It's just wonderful um, seeing those tourism people come in because, you know, with Scottsbluff and Gearing, a lot of the comments that I hear on the negative side is, oh, well, that's across the river. I don't want to go across the river. It's, <laughs> we're one community. We're one valley. Um, we support each other and we just have to be there for each other. Okay, so if uh, people would like to get involved or if they'd like to participate in the upcoming uh, holiday parade, how can they get a hold of you? Um, please reach out to me. My phone number is 308-641-2842. Um, you can reach out to us on Facebook. Um, feel free to text me, feel free to call me. We would love to have your help. Um, we have gotten better about reaching out to other groups. We have, it takes a village to run that village. It's the best quote of the year we had last year from one of our volunteers. Um, we have two groups on every Saturday that come out and help us. 
Um, we have people, you know, it takes a lot of work to set that village up and to keep it running throughout the year and to tear it down. So um, we would love your help. We would love for you to come and lend a hand. Thank you for joining us today on Table Talk, Renee. Thank you, Jerry. And I'm Jerry Purvis with Star Herald. Thanks for joining us on Table Talk.